Well, Red, I guess you're here for one reason, right? You want to enter the Battle Royale. Well, if I was you, I'd get my affairs in order before you enter. Mr. Kelly has been the champion for four years now, and looks as if he's still the one to beat. Though he's definitely got a tougher time on his hands this year. Had that English fella, Swift, in here earlier signing up, and Annie Stokes wants to throw her hat in the ring, too. So, Red, what you gonna do? You want to enter the Battle Royale, too? He's killed so many men down south, he had to come up north to find some more. Senor Gabriel Navarro. Challenging him, a man of mystery. Some of you may have heard of all the recent bounty hunting he did on behalf of the town. Ladies and gentlemen, Red. I don't reckon he should be so eager to get himself killed, but rules is the rules, and there's no denying he's quick on the draw. He can't shave, but he sure can shoot the challenger, Kid Cougar! Red, glad to see you made it through the preliminaries. Tomorrow should prove to be an exciting day. I don't think I've ever seen Kelly look nervous before. Something about you must have really got under his skin. I'm growing to like you more every day, Red. If you win tomorrow, stop by my office. I may have a job for you. Evening, Red Mill, China. Uh, afraid I've had a little too much to drink. The fine gentleman behind the bar keeps serving a delicious elixir he calls Red Eye. I saw you duel earlier. You really are quite good. Almost as good as I was in my heyday. But these days, alas, I'm a little too fond of the sauce. can barely keep my hands steady these days, so I think it's time I hung up my holster for good. Maybe take things easier for a while. 
So after I win tomorrow, I think I'll find a nice gal with a big piece of land to her name and spend the rest of my days sipping whiskey and telling lies about my days in the army. <laughs> I wouldn't be too cocky, Bounty Hunter. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut from time to time. Your bounty hunting exploits must have scared off the real competition, which is the only reason you made it this far. One quick question, bounty hunter. Shall I make it quick and shoot you between the eyes, or shall I shoot you in the stomach and let you bleed to death? Either way, I will make sure you don't live long enough to see another sunset. Make the most of your evening, for I intend it to be your last. That was some nice shooting out there, bounty hunter. You got a steady arm and a good aim. Governor could use a man like you. Of course, the governor can't use you if you're dead, so you better be as good as you think you are, because Kelly is. I wouldn't make one mistake out there, partner. Not if you want to live long enough to collect that prize money. You won't win tomorrow. I saw you today and you were as slow as a snail with two bad knees. Mr. Kelly's gonna chew you up and spit you out. And then when me and him are celebrating tomorrow night, you won't be seeing nothing but the insides of a wooden box. And then when they lay you to rest, you'll be right beside all the innocent men you've killed. Hey, sugar. Glad to see you made it this far. I got my eye on you now, honey. You do well tomorrow, and my oh my, we'll do some celebrating together. You just make sure you don't let that Kelly draw first, you hear me? Because if he beats you to it, you're going home in a wooden box. <laughs> <laughs>